Hi, welcome to this Pi Ohio 2020 lightning talk. I'm Kimberly Fessel and it's time to fire up your flux capacitor and put on your life preserver because we're about to take DeLorean for a test drive. DeLorean is an open source library developed by Mahdi Youssef to help you work with date times in Python. You can install it by executing pip install DeLorean and then load it into your Python scripts with import DeLorean. Now that that's done, let's take a look at some of DeLorean's features. By the way, you can access all of the code I'm about to show you via Google Colab with this link. Once we get our DeLorean fired up, we can go ahead and import and create an instance of a DeLorean object. Once we print that out, we'll see that this is the current timestamp, but it is in the UTC time zone. If you'd like to shift that, you can just use this shift method, and now you'll see that my hour has been updated and my time zone has switched to US Eastern. DeLorean is also nice in that you can access the different components of that DeLorean object, for example, this naive timestamp, the date, or you can switch over to Unix time with this epoch property. You can also replace the parts in your DeLorean. For example, you could switch your hours to be 10, or you could go back to Marty McFly's time and switch your year to 1985. DeLorean also works with date times time delta, so you can do time arithmetic. For example, you can go three weeks forward in the future, or you could subtract off two minutes and 10 seconds to roughly when you started this video. We are off to a great start, and it didn't even require 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. Besides those basics, there are three more DeLorean techniques to tell you about. Parsing date strings, creating regular time intervals, and describing time with natural language. Let's take a look. Parsing time with DeLorean is super simple. You just need to import the parse module and then supply whatever string you're interested in. DeLorean will convert that string into a DeLorean date time. And you can use many different string formats, which is super useful if you are collecting information from various different APIs or if you're doing something like web scraping. You can also use DeLorean to create stops at regular time intervals. First import the stops module, and then stops is going to give you a generator that you can iterate over. You just need to supply the frequency at which you like the stops and then how many of those stops to create. So here I've created two stops, starting with the current timestamp and then forward one year. But you can also use DeLorean to specify which time intervals you're interested in. So here I've set a start and a stop interval, and I've even said that I'm only interested in Mondays. So here are my two Mondays during this time interval. DeLorean allows you to talk about time using natural human language. For example, if I want to know the date of last Thursday, or I can supply an integer and move forward in time 30 years. DeLorean also has this humanized method so that you can contextualize any DeLorean date time in terms of your current timestamp. When it comes to date time manipulation in Python, you have lots of options, including arrow, pendulum, and the blazing fast uDate time. Your choice of library ultimately comes down to your project's needs and your own personal preferences. DeLorean attempts to compile and enhance some of the best bits of other libraries, so I hope you've enjoyed getting a glimpse at what this DeLorean can do. Thanks for joining me, and like Dr. Emmett Brown says, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything.